Hello from Bald River Gorge Wilderness. A few people have asked me to do a video of uh, my backpacking gear list. So here's what's in my backpack starting with the big three. First of all, since last May, I've been using a Z-Pax Arc Hall, and uh, I absolutely love it. Before this, I had a Osprey Ghost uh, Exos 58. I had over 600 nights on it, had a lot of wear and tear, so I got this Z-Pax, and the only extras I added to it were uh, the hip belt pockets and the straps on the side so that you can fold up the top and roll it down. I was really concerned about folding it up on the top and having a loop. A lot of the trails I do are, are rarely used. Sometimes I bushwhack and I was worried about going under blowdowns and a limb going through the top of it. So I felt like attaching it down the sides would prevent that problem. Uh, my next item is uh, Mountain Law Designs Tarp. I did a video of that and I'll put a link to uh, that video below. Next, with regard to my sleep system, I used to use a Neo Air Pad. I had about 350 nights on it and uh, it developed some leaks on the top of the pad. I patched them, but it's still just a really slow leak. Uh, it was my third Neo Air Pad. The first two, the valve leaked and I had to send it back. So. I was looking at REI one day and I, I decided to buy a Sea to Summit. I started off with um, their Ultra Light. It's the yellow Sea to Summit pad and it weighs about uh, 12 and a half ounces with the stuff sack. I think it comes in on my scales at 12.9. It only has a 0.7 R value and I can use it to about uh, 35 degrees. Then the, I liked it so much, I ended up buying the insulated uh, Sea to Summit pad, and I absolutely love it. Um, it has an R value of 3.3. REI shows it as a weight of 15 and a half ounces, but on my scales, including the stuff sack, it weighs 17 ounces. The big difference between the uh, Neo Air and the Sea to Summit is two items. When you blow up the Neo Air Pad, it's only 19 inches wide. When you blow up the Sea to Summit, at the widest point, it's 21 and a half inches wide. So that's two and a half inches. I sleep on my side, so the increased weight is well worth the additional width. Also, on the Neo Air Pad, when you get a little close to the edge, you kind of want to roll off, and I don't have that problem at all with the Sea to Summit. Uh, with regard to a sleeping bag, for several years now, I guess about three years, I've been using Enlightened Equipment quilts. This is a 10 degree quilt, 800 down fill. It has three inches of loft. Uh, the uh, Enlightened Equipment comes with a strap that goes around the pad and then some clips that can move. I didn't like that because I would roll over, it would create an air gap. So I've modified the straps and now I just clip them on to the bottom of the pad. It doesn't it doesn't move at all. The pad stays very or the quilt stays in place and I absolutely love this system. I've got uh, two enlightened equipment quilts. I've got a 30 degree quilt which is uh, 800 down, two inches of loft and I generally use it to about 35 degrees and then I then I opt for the 10 degree bag. I've also got another quilt. I didn't bring it with me. It's a Costco quilt that I modified. It, uh, it was about $20. I, took, I ordered some straps and some clips, some enlightened equipment, took it to a seamstress and had her add those. And all total, the straps, the clips, and the seamstress was about another $20. So I have $40 in that quilt. I'll try to maybe next summer do a video of that quilt. Also, uh, I keep my sleeping bag in a Mountain Hopper Light Cuban Fiber Stuff Set. For a pillow, 
I use the uh, Sea to Summit pillow and also I have a REI pillowcase that I just wrap around the Sea to Summit pillow. The reason I do that is twofold. One, it keeps my pillow from getting dirty. I can just take this off and throw it in the washing machine and also you know, if I ever punctured anything, I can put some clothes in this and use that as a pillow. In addition to those items, I use a Gossamer Gear one quarter inch pad. I use this underneath my Sea to Summit pad. I also use it around camp. I lean it up against a rock or a log and uh, rest on it. I, it was initially a 39 inches wide by 59 inches long. I cut nine inches off of the edge, so it's now 30 inches by 59. I fold it in half and roll it up and keep it on the bottom of my Z-Rest pad. Also, I have a Gossamer Gear, a little sit pad that I put on top of that. Uh, kind of helps my butt. And then in addition to that, I carry a little luxury item. I carry another pillow. This is uh, just a, I don't know, it's a Hike Adventure pillow I bought off Amazon. I paid $13 for it. And uh, I lean it up against a log or a rock on top of this. It really adds a lot of comfort. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time at camp. To me, backpacking is more than just uh, walking, eating, and sleeping. So, and I put this between my knees at night, and you older hikers will appreciate that. So that uh, does it on, my, on the big three. Uh, next, we'll move to uh, cooking and, uh, and my food bag.